Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial and today I'm going to set up one to n nodes. <coughs> now there's a few things important. Uh, for example, one, all nodes must be on version 1.4 or above. You can only have one main node for each poet. So I have one main node for Team24 and I'm going to create a one main node for the default 12 hour poet. There are instructions, of course. Uh, they're a bit like IKEA instructions, a bit confusing. But uh, once you start reading them, they actually make sense. I think NJ made an amazing job doing this, even though it's written by a developer, so it's confusing. So I have my main node here set up. I'm going to call it 12 hour poet. Doesn't really matter what you call it. It's up to you and it's for you to keep track. So I'm using PowerScript and we need to edit a few things. So I got my name. Wallet address must be present on each main node. Post location, whatever you want to call it, this is not going to be any post location. File lock, also call it what you want. This doesn't really matter. This is your node data. This you need to know where it is. This is your ports you're going to need, especially the post listener. Mine is going to be 9004. Also, smashing must be to false so I'm gonna put quote space and quote on mine but if you're using a different setup you need to put this on your config file so I don't have nothing here so I need to create my data I'm gonna start the node and the most important thing is you're going to have a new folder identities and new database called local. The reason I didn't include the state database is because if I don't have a database, things happen more quickly to set up. When everything is working, then I'll use quick sync or I copy from another node and put it here. So now that we have that, we can close the app. You can see here, app is started. So I can close this up. And we go to identities on the main node and delete local key as we are not going to need it and you actually need to delete it. So that's my main node. So let's set up, for example, my node three. So I'm gonna go to node three and I don't need my config file. I don't need none of that. And I don't need the state because I want the node to start quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure to update to the latest version, of course. So I'm gonna do it like that. And I'm gonna start the node so we can create the new files. App started. I think we're good. Just to confirm, we have identities. And we have the new local database. So in identities, this needs to be different for every node. So this is node three. I'm going to call it node three. Doesn't really matter what you call it. Now we need to merge this key with these identities. For that, we use this command here. Merge nodes. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to open a PowerShell where the service, where the, sorry, where the merge nodes is. So PowerShell, 
And this is the command. So I'm going to copy from node 3 both data, which is this. And I'm going to copy to my main node post data. Not copy, it's actually merge. And you can see copy identity and merge database. And that's pretty much it. Merge is done. Now we can start the main node. And now we need to connect the post service to the main node. To do that, we go to the our new node, open a PowerShell. And we're going to use this command here. Service address, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to copy this. Now, address, local host, is the address we put on the main node, which on my case was 04, I think. Let's confirm, shall we? Uh, 9004, yes. The, the dir is the post data, so my node 3 post data, it's here, so I'm going to copy this and put it there. Operator address, this is for the API and it needs to be different for every node. So I'm going to use 5003. Threads, because this is a small post, I'm going to use 2 and nonsense 128. Run a max, I'm going to leave fast as normal. And just press enter. As you can see, my node is connected. And if you go to your node, it says post services, register and will stay like this until the next cycle gap you can also confirm this using node curl so if i use it's actually wrong but all we need is this one here and we have the new option nine and you have the information here is idle waiting for the next cycle gap and the name node 3 that's the name i give it and you just leave it and that's it and um, whatever nodes you want to connect the process is exactly the same for each node so let's try and connect another node so we need to turn off the main node Um, you can see now the connection was closed because the main node is off. So I'm going to close this down. And I'm going to try to connect node 2. So I need to create all the new files here. So I already done my thing here. Disconnect. I uh, need to remove smashing start. Put a space here. Ports. Uh, na -na 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 and done. So I'm going to start the node. I've started and that's done. So we have the new files, local, etc, etc. Identities, I'm going to rename this to node 2. And now we need to merge. So PowerShell again. And merge nodes to now it's easier because everything is already there. I just need to change the names really. And merging done. Start main node. 
and go to node 2 PowerShell and change the settings here of course this is the same so my post is actually different where is my post it's actually g node 2 so node 2 g api 2 threads 2 will be good announces 128 if it's a bigger post of course you need 288 and so on and start the service now what happened here is i screw up my post somehow and what's he doing now is creating a new proof generation i don't know what happened but uh, most of the time if you screw up you can actually recover from this i'm going to leave it on but just to show you example how to recover you could remove backup from these files and then on main node you need to delete local and rename this removing backup and delete identities and start the process all over again i cannot guarantee it will work but i've done this before and it actually did work it didn't work on this note i don't know how or why but i'm just gonna leave it because i'm tired of tired <laughs> and uh, yeah i think i covered over the basis and uh, if you use uh, node curl now, that node will show you as proofing. So what was it? Zero four. You can see now I have two nodes connected. That's node two, which is proofing, and node three idling. And that's how you set up one to n nodes, or whatever how you say it. Of course, I wasn't gonna let you guys hang in, so <laughs> of course I have a script to start the notes. Well, wrong place. So I call this one, call this one just start, basically. And what I've done is I put the command inside. So every time the system restarts, Instead of settings, it will start the start PS1 file. So you also need to edit here to start instead of, of settings. Of course, I will make the file available in the same repo as the the power script. Yeah, we can now stop. We can now stop the nodes and change the database and put proper ones again. Of course. Don't forget, this will take a lot of time. Make sure you're not expecting any re rewards anytime soon. And please, please don't do it just before the cycle gap because the chances are you get confused, you mess up something, and you need time to recover. I hope this video helps you, and uh, I'll see you next time.